My name is Beatrice and I'm from Italy. I am Juliana, I am from Colombia. I am Dr. Olivia Hamlin and I'm a lecturer um, at the University of Leicester. I'm Ben and I'm a solicitor practicing environmental law in the City of London. I'm also in the second year of the Environmental Law and Policy LLM at UCL, which I'm studying part-time. My name's Jonathan Church, um, I'm currently a solicitor at Client Earth, and I came to the LLM after a degree in science initially, and I worked for a few years in the NGO sector, then trained as a lawyer, worked in private practice, and saw the LLM as a bridge to something new. I'm Rosanna, and I'm from Grenada, an island in the Caribbean. My name is Montserrat, I am from Chile. I wanted to come to UCL because I was seeking a world-class education. UCL is well-ranked, well-respected, and I particularly liked what the environmental program here had to offer. I wanted to come to UCL because the academics are top-notch, they're some of the best in the world, the teaching and research is very, very high quality, and the environmental specialism in particular is very, very good and it's very um, well-rounded. I chose the environmental law specialism because it relates to my previous experience. I had uh, worked as a research assistant in this field and I really wanted to explore it further. I think it's the most relevant um, aspect of law and we all need to learn about it a little bit more. So I'm very happy to have chosen it. I decided to study the environmental law and policy LLM at UCL because I wanted to gain a deeper understanding of some of the topics that I encounter in practice and also because I very much was impressed by UCL's strengths in environmental law. What I've enjoyed most about this year is actually the academics. Um, so in going in and applying to UCL, uh, obviously they have the top academics, but when actually coming here and being with them and obviously interacting with them, it was a different sort of atmosphere than what I thought. It wasn't the normal professor teaching you sort of one-way street of learning. It was interactive. Um, and you have Maria Lee and you have Stephen Vaughan who are excellent with that sort of dynamic and it was just amazing. Studying with people from all over the world, they're motivated as much as you are, are committed to success as much as you are and are brilliant and it's nice that before when you're in your little bay you feel maybe you're one of the few that have this big passion about the law but then you find that when you move to UCL you start studying in this environmental classes for example everyone is as passionate as committed as happy to study as much as, as you are. What I've enjoyed the most about this year is actually the people I've met so students and teacher. I'm not just saying this for the camera because we really really gelled so well together um, even though all of us are from like really different backgrounds some of us are scholars some of us worked for so many years and I just came straight out of undergrad, we all like um, get along really well, we went to class together, we, um, we studied together, we even, some of us were even organizing an environmental law conference together. Um, and also we, we get along really well with the lecturers as well, for example, two days ago, um, Stephen, our lecturer, and a few of us actually went to watch a cricket show together. So I think what I really enjoyed the most is because not only the academic side of just learning but also the fact that I have really good company and we've been learning and growing together as well. One of the great things is that you can choose, you can mix and match exactly which modules you'd like to use even within the context of the environmental law uh, specialism. Um, the quality of teaching and how um, interactive that is, but at the same time there's a lot of opportunity to pursue independent study as well and to kind of follow exactly where your passions uh, lie. The classes are very small groups. Uh, teachers tend to interact a lot with the students and they go beyond the classic style of lecturing and they try to engage a lot with your previous experience and with your interest. Teaching was absolutely fantastic. 
Um, it was really world class, it was really stimulating. I remember not being able to get enough of each seminar, I just wanted them to continue. Um, and that was really exciting. Um, and secondly, the community of students who were taking that specific LLM course were really um, lovely. So um, they were from all over the world, we got on really well, we had a really tight group and it was uh, just a fantastic experience overall because of those two things. It's a great opportunity after you're working for some time and you have the chance to read and learn and just full-time student and be in a different town, a different country. It's been a, a great experience. Maria and Stephen organised a away day for us where it was a group of very um, esteemed academics and um, practitioners and people in the industry and we spent the, the day together and um, it was really nice to see each other outside the classroom but we were still learning but not so much focused for an exam but for our own enjoyment and our own enrichment and afterwards we went to a nice pub together. <laughs> yeah, we got to know each other better <laughs> in a more casual setting, we got to speak to our lecturers in a different way so it, our bond group. I actually think that I would go down the climate change negotiator route um, on an international level. Looking forward to maybe practice, get a training contract and go into the energy law context. Back home uh, is definitely where I want to practice law and hopefully get a job where uh, in the government, for example, I can apply the knowledge and the skills that I have in Hansi and UCL. The LLM has contributed to my career um, in a couple of ways. Firstly, I think without having done it, I wouldn't be where I am. So it really opened up for me the field of environmental law um, and gave me the sort of stepping stone that I needed in order to do my PhD. Um, and it's also fantastic to have UCL on your CV. So I, I suspect that might have opened a few um, doors. And also now, because I'm an academic, I research and I teach, so it's given me a fantastic grounding in, in those two aspects of my career. And especially with the teaching, I have to say, I had a year of fantastic examples of teaching, which I now draw on and hope to provide great teaching to my students. My time here at UCL has uh, helped me to define what is the path that I want to follow. And I know for sure now that I want to devote myself to environmental law. come to UCL to do the environmental law specialism. It doesn't seek to offer solutions or one-size-fits-all answers. It fosters critical thinking and it forces you to look at your society and to see what's relevant and what's appropriate for your society. We have small, a small class that's highly convenient. It's, you, you can engage with your classmates, you can engage with your professors. We have a sense of a community here and uh, you will get a lot out of it, so I would really, really think that you should go for it and do it here at UCL. Definitely do it. I think even if it doesn't lead exactly where you expect it to lead, it's always going to be a very valuable experience. The Environment Law and Policy LLM has been very useful to me in practice because it's given me a deeper understanding of certain areas of law that I encounter frequently in practice, such as the Equator Principles or the EU Emissions Trading System and also it's helped in giving me a broader understanding of environmental law generally which helps when I'm called to advise on new areas of law. I frequently tell people that it was the best decision of my life. Mm -hmm.